you can tell from the vibrating glass of water that Jurassic World is stomping towards us due for a cinema release next year. That's why we decided it was time to round up all the Jurassic Park games ever made. When the first film came out in 1993, Ocean released three games, each optimised for a different platform. The NES and Game Boy versions mirrored the action of the film, seeing you smash eggs, dance between Triceratops and dodge Dilophosaurus spit. The SNES version was similar but utilised a terrifying first-person view for the indoor bits, complete with surround sound that made the feeling of being hunted by Velociraptors even more harrowing. A PC-DOS and Amiga version was released, again featuring the same isometric dino hunting, as well as some particularly jumpy, shadowy first-person sections. The Sega version for the Mega Drive, also released in 1993, was a slickly animated side-scrolling platformer which weirdly let you play as Dr. Alan Grant or as the Velociraptor. A sequel, Rampage Edition, was also released in 1994. The Master System and Game Gear versions were developed in Japan, differing dramatically and featuring chunky jeep driving sections, agile platforming, but they ditched the option to play as the Raptor. A version of Jurassic Park for the Mega CD was also released in 1993. It was a snazzy, crisp, point-and-click adventure centred around collecting dinosaur eggs. Enduring Sega Magazine Mega placed this game at number 9 in their top Mega CD games of all time. 1994 saw the release of a rail shooter in arcades, a game of the same name. It took you on a frenetic ride through the park, fending off a ridiculously vicious onslaught of dinos. This was the first game of its type to feature the sort of 3D environments we'd see later in Virtua Cop. Following on from the success of the film and the tie-ins, more games followed. Jurassic Park 2 The Chaos Continues came to SNES and Game Boy in 1994, developing an entirely new, non-canon story. Also released in 1994 was Jurassic Park Interactive for the doomed 3DO system. This was one of the console's biggest sellers, despite some legal wrangling that meant all the characters in the game had to be represented by dodgy lookalikes rather than the actual actors. A second movie, The Lost World, arrived in 1997, and this time DreamWorks Interactive created in-house software to accompany it. A game of the same name was released for PlayStation and Sega Saturn, a platformer which put you in control of the T-Rex, albeit for a limited period of time. A sprite-based version was also released on Game Boy Color, as well as a budget special edition which aimed to eliminate some of the game's many flaws. A Mega Drive version similar in style to the earlier SNES game was released in 1997 too. It added drivable vehicles and, given the age of the console, looked pretty damn snazzy for the time. A Game Gear version was also released, as well as one, for the short-lived Tiger Electronics handheld Game.com. And no, we don't remember that version either. Next came Jurassic Park Chaos Island for PC, a Command and Conquer style strategy game which diverged from the plot of the movie but kept the familiar cast. Sega also released The Lost World Jurassic Park in arcades, another on-rail shooter similar to their earlier effort. In 1998 came the massive, ambitious PC first-person shooter Jurassic Park Trespasser. Billed as the digital sequel to The Lost World, it shipped in an unfinished state due to the publisher's intention to coincide it with the VHS release. It also required a monstrous PC to achieve even playable frame rates. In 1999 we got something a little bit different, in the bitey shape of Warpath Jurassic Park, a dino-based beat-em-up similar to Primal Rage. Finally, it seemed you could recreate the fight between the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus that we wouldn't see until Jurassic Park 3. And that neatly brings us to Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic Park 3 Dino Defender and the accompanying Danger Zone were developed and published by Knowledge Adventure for PC. A 3D action game called Jurassic Park 3 Scan Command also came to PC, complete with a scanner used to convert barcodes into DNA pieces. A light gun game came out in arcades the same year, simply called Jurassic Park 3. The Game Boy Advance also got three new games. Island Attack, an isometric action-adventure game which is followed by puzzle platformer Jurassic Park 3 The DNA Factor. Finally, Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder was a scaly god game, like Theme Park but with Velociraptors. Jurassic Park Survival was due in 2001, but conflict with Vivendi Universal over payments resulted in the game's cancellation. This was followed by Jurassic Park Dinosaur Battles, a PC game similar to Scan Command. The same year, we also got Universal Studios' theme park adventure for Nintendo GameCube. This was actually based on the real-life theme park rides, and the Jurassic Park bit had you defending yourself from raptors and T-Rex. In March 2003, we got Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Much like Park Builder, this let you recreate your own Jurassic Park, complete with rides, shops, and somewhat unsurprisingly, dinosaurs. 
Bringing things a little bit more up to date, a mobile game based on the Jurassic Park franchise was released in 2010. After that, in 2011, we got Telltale's episodic adventure, Jurassic Park The Game, for Xbox 360, PS3, PC and Mac. Since then, we've also had a re-release of Jurassic Park Builder for Apple and Android platforms. And when the new film arrives next year, you should probably brace yourself for a bellowing charge of brand new tie-in games. But until then, that's all we've got. Please let us know your favourite JP gaming moment in the comments below and hit the on-screen links for a complete with a K history of Mortal Kombat or every Batman game ever made in five minutes.